Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to show you my updated foundation routine. I got really caught up in using tons and tons of makeup, just layers and layers and too many pumps of foundation, and it felt very heavy on my face. And then I realized that I don't really need to be piling on that much makeup to create a flawless base because my skin is pretty decent at this point. I used to have pretty problem skin. You guys can look back at my older videos and see that, but I've pretty much gotten it under control at this point so I don't need so many layers of product. So I want to show you guys what I've been doing to create my base without putting on so much makeup because less is more. It's just a lot more comfortable to wear a little bit less on your base rather than more, especially in the summertime. You don't want to feel your makeup on your skin. So I just want to show you guys what I have been doing. Obviously when I have a special event or something like that, then I will put on more makeup, but I'm talking just day to day this is a lot more comfortable to wear because I was wearing way too much on just a normal day-to-day -day basis and it was just uncomfortable. So this is my updated foundation routine. If you guys enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're curious to see how I created this base, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is prime my skin and I love this primer from Marc Jacobs. It's the coconut primer. It has a really long name, but I just call it the Coconut Primer by Marc Jacobs. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm taking one pump in the palm of my hand. I'm gonna warm it up just a little bit by rubbing my hands together, and then I'm gonna go ahead and gently kind of rub this into my skin, and then I'm gonna push the product into my skin. So you wanna initially spread the product around, and then really push it into your skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So I have three that I use all the time. I use the NARS a Velvet Matte Skin Tint, the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, and recently I've been using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation a lot. I'm in the shade Y335, and what I've been doing is I have been taking the Sigma F84 brush, taking one pump of this foundation straight onto the brush, and then I make a line on each section of my face with the product that's on the brush. And then I start to buff that out into my skin. I got really caught up in using two, almost three pumps of foundation, when in reality, one pump of foundation is perfectly fine. And if you have any areas of your face that you need to cover a little bit extra, you can layer up foundation in those areas, or you can even go in with your concealer to cover up those sections. Like my skin is pretty good at the moment. Like I have a couple of like redness breakouts like right around my nose area, but I can go ahead and just layer up product in that area instead of putting so much foundation all over the rest of my face where it's not necessary. So like I said, just in my nose area, I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I think I took not even half of a pump extra and I'm just gonna kind of push the product on this area of my face. The next thing that I will do is go in with concealer, and the one that I am using right now is this Inglot Under Eye Concealer in the shade 97, and this has to be, hands down, my favorite concealer formula of all time. I love it. The only thing that I don't like is the packaging so much, because, I don't know, I feel like it gets a little bit messy, but it's better than the pump on the MAC Pro Longwear, and it's better than the wand because it's more hygienic, so I guess I'm not really complaining. So what I do is I use the concealer on my Luxie 512 Small Contouring Brush. I just put a little dot of the concealer right at the tip of the brush, and I go ahead and I dot right underneath the eyes, and I put a little bit just on the bridge of the nose. And then what I will do is whatever is extra from blending out, I'll put around my nose and on my chin because I was putting on way too much concealer and it was just creasing and looking cakey and heavy. And this covers up just fine with this amount. So if I ever blend out that concealer and I see that my under eye circles are a little bit darker than normal or something like that and I want to go ahead and add just a little bit more than I will, but it's easier to add a little bit more than put on too much and then have to take away because once you put on too much concealer or foundation, it's very hard to just blend it away. With eyeshadow you can get away with it, but with face products it's a bit harder. So I like to layer up when necessary, but initially I'll go in with a minimal amount of product. If for some reason I notice that my under eye circles are really out to play on a certain day, then what I'll do is I'll go in with the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Peach underneath my foundation, 
then I'll go in with my foundation and then I'll go in with my concealer but this goes underneath everything and this really is great for color correcting just underneath my under eyes. So now that that is on, I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes and anywhere else that I put concealer. The setting powder that I've been using is by MAC and it's the Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder and it is the pressed one. I like this because it doesn't have any color, it doesn't have any shimmer or shine to it, it's very lightweight, it doesn't create a flashback, and it's pressed. So a lot of the powders that I was using before were loose powders and I felt like it made a huge huge mess everywhere like I love the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder but it just got everywhere every single time that I went to go and use it so it was a little bit of a pain in the butt and I wanted to try something that was in pressed form so this one has been great it's really light it doesn't cake up or get heavy underneath the eyes and it kind of blurs your pores out a little bit so I just use a Sigma F35 brush to kind of just dust this in any areas that is needed so that's pretty much it for my base. The next thing that I'll go ahead and do is blush, bronze, contour, highlight. And what I've been using for that is the Benefit Chicathon Blush Palette. And I really, really like to mix Dallas and Hula, which are the two bronzing shades, as a bronzer. And I like to use that on a big fluffy powder brush. This one is by the brand Still, but you guys can use any brush that you have. I just mix a little bit onto my brush and then I'll go ahead and just bronze up the perimeter of my skin. I also like to take whatever is left on this brush and just kind of run it on the sides of my nose. For some reason, I know you'd think, why are you using such a big brush to add definition to your nose? But for some reason, this brush does a really good job of kind of contouring my nose. I don't know, I just, I like how it looks. And then I also take some down my neck. And then for blush, what I'll do is I will mix any of the three colors or just take one of the colors in the palette. Today I'm going to take the shade Rockateur and the brush that I love to use for my blush is by Sonia Kashuk and it's the number two brush. This is just her blush brush and I think that it distributes the product perfectly on the cheeks. So what I'll do is I'll kind of start from the apples and blend it backwards. Now, for my highlighter, I have been obsessing over the Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit, and depending on what eyeshadow I'm doing, I kind of just pick a color, mix colors, something like that. Today, I'm going to be mixing Hard Candy and Starburst, and I love using the Smashbox Fan Brush. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of run it over the tops of my cheekbones and then kind of bring it down over my blush. And then I will kind of make this C-shape to bring it over my brow as well. And then I'll also take a drop just the tip of my nose and on the bridge. Now I'm going to go back again and blend those together. And that is it. So that is it for my updated foundation routine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you guys did enjoy it, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.